The admissions window is set to close later this month on full scholarships for students who were not able to get a traditional college education. CBS 2's Hannah Klieger explains how this unique program works. Delano Burroughs tried to go to college a few times. You know, I had a long history of drug addiction and a uh, complicated relationship as it said to education. Now, a published writer pursuing a bachelor's at Columbia University. But so many more people than we know feel like they're left out of traditional college experience. In 2021, he got his associate's degree at Bard Micro College and now works here as a tutor. The program is an expansion of the Bard Prison Initiative, which serves incarcerated students. A free miniature campus of Bard College in the community. Classes are held at the Brooklyn Public Library's central location. We are the only public library that we know of in the country where you can earn a college degree. And students come from all walks of life. Some are formerly incarcerated, some are older, some dropped out of college and are chasing a second chance. Well, I always loved school and learning, but I just didn't know what I wanted to do. That's Anastasia Neary's story. She's set to graduate this spring and dreams of working as an urban planner in Haiti. I don't know what I would be doing, honestly, with my life right now. Tuition, books, and supplies are all completely free for students, and they graduate with an associate's degree. Many then go on to attend a four-year college. The most obvious barrier to access to college is the tuition bill. So right off the bat, we take that off the table. Burroughs will always remember what his mom said at his graduation. You look so happy on that stage, and I was. It was one of the happiest moments of my life. Now he hopes to get a master's and write a memoir. The deadline for applications for next semester is April 15th. In Park Slope, Brooklyn, Hannah Klieger, CBS2 News. It's a life changer. You have to be at least 17 and have a high school diploma or GED. And for more information on eligibility, you can go to our website. And Hannah is our community reporter covering Brooklyn. If you've got a story idea, you can email her at brooklyntip at cbs.com.